Hello software developers. Imagine a user coming to your website or your web application and having to wait more than 5 or 10 seconds for the page to render or the data to load. Such a user would probably not wait on your website or not return back on your website or your web application. The chances of this is considerably high. User responsiveness along with scalability are two of the most important features in any web application. And caching is one of the most popularly used ways to increase the performance of your website. Hi, I'm Samira Navalkar, working as a training consultant with Synergetics India. And today I'm going to brief you about what is caching, what is distributed caching, and what is end cache. So caching is a technique to store the data fetched from the database server onto the memory of the web server so that the further requests from the user will directly be re uh, responded from the web server instead of the database and this results in the faster fetching of the data to the users. As the application grows however, the need arises to host this web application on multiple servers which is nothing but a web farm or on cloud. Now the question arises as to which server should the cache data be stored on and the answer is to use distributed caching. Distributed caching essentially separates out the caching data and stores it external to all the web servers. The advantages of this is that any web server restarts do not affect the cache data. The local web storage of the web servers is not used and for all the users, they get a coherent data as a cache data. Ncache by Alakisoft is one of the popularly used distributed cache servers or service that is used along with .NET applications. Ncache is completely implemented in C Sharp and .NET and .NET Core thereby seamlessly integrating and easily integrating with any of your .NET Core applications. There are three versions of Alakisoft's Ncache that is enterprise version, professional version and the open source version out of which the open source version is completely free. Now comparing this with the distributed SQL Server caching system, Ncache uses the key value store the key value store speeds up the retrieval as compared to the relational tables and definitely it is much faster. If we compare it to the Redis distributed cache system, in that case, Ncache uses indexing. Ncache has better bulk operations. Ncache has better, faster and compact serialization and also compression. These and many other features of Ncache enable you to easily enhance and upgrade the performance and also speed up the performance and give better user responsiveness on your website or your web applications. To know more about Ncache, how it is used, how it can be integrated with all your .NET applications, do subscribe to our channel Synergetics. Stay tuned on all our social media handles, that is LinkedIn, Twitter, and